How's it guys? It is Saturday from Side Let's Play and we are back with another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. And last episode was a very sad and heartbreaking episode because Robin passed away and so did Braxton Jr. A lot of you guys thought that the tombstone was there for Braxton Jr. and it might have been. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna go pick up that tombstone and then um, we're gonna go do something really quick. Because I had to tell the villagers what happened. I just had to. I couldn't keep it a secret. I told them the whole story. How it all began with Jake and everything. And um, they're kind of freaking out at the moment. And I understand. They don't want to stay underground anymore. They kind of feel like they're cooped up. So um, I told them they don't have to stay there. I'm going to move them somewhere temporarily. Just very quickly. Did I see someone there? Who's this? Oh, that's one of the guards. Okay. Um, so I told them I would move them just very temporarily. If I didn't do the job of taking down Jake, they could go back to their lives and I, I won't be able to stop them anymore. So that is what we're going to do. Um, and also at the end of the episode, I kind of want to have a little conversation with you guys. So please watch until then. And let's go get all the villagers. So we have their tombstones now. So we could actually one day have a nice funeral for both of them. A funeral that they deserve. They don't deserve to just have their their tombstone placed on the ground with not everyone around to watch it and then grieve over them. So we're going to do things right for them. But you guys said I should hurry up and take down Jake first and then have the funeral. So that's ex exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take every villager that's not already upstairs we're gonna take them upstairs and we're gonna build something for them really quick so they're gonna hate me for this and keep i keep moving them around all the time and it's really not fair on them it's not fair but i need to do what i think is best for the village and right now jake is on the loose somewhere we already know that we don't know where he is we know that he knows about this place i don't want him sneakily coming in here and attacking us i'd rather move them somewhere keep that place safe and after i move them don't let him near the village because now i know that he's watching us so now i know not to let him close by so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna we're gonna go take him down i have the guards still out there i let them know what happened with robin as well and they're gonna keep an eye out for him and i'm sure they're gonna do their job well so Let's see. Um, did I forget anyone else? Where's Braxton? We're missing Braxton, aren't we? Oh, there he is. Come on, Braxton. These these people must have their their sentry point set. So follow me. Come on, you guys. We can't take forever. We gotta do this quick. Um, hunting. You guys need to understand that, um, everyone is, everyone is taking the death of Robin hard. Everyone is. Every single villager in here is. I am. I, I feel like I can't cope with it. But, right now it almost feels like I can't fully, fully be sad. Like, I can't grieve. I can't sit here and cry and do nothing. Because you see everyone here. Every single one of these people is depending on me to keep them alive. To kind of hold on to just a little bit of the village that's left. It's, there's nothing much to it anymore. And it's not because, oh, we had to make it look abandoned. No, it's just because of what's happened here that's made it feel that way. So, it's hard on everyone. It's not like we're just trying to ignore her death or anything. It's just that we almost feel like we can't we can't do anything. It's kind of like if there was a huge disaster somewhere. People need to get their lives uh, together and they need to start trying to make the most of it. Not forget, but they need to, to just move on for that little bit while everything gets sorted out. And once everything gets sorted out, they have that time and peace to to heal and get better so that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna take them somewhere we're gonna put some beds down maybe you have some food in the chest because they're not gonna stay there for long um and that is it let's go upstairs come on i feel like i need to be careful everywhere i go though 
No, he's not here. Come on, guys. Let's go down here. Come on. Just stay, okay? Everyone's gonna stay right in here. Just stay over here. Okay, all of us are gonna stay here. For now. Just for a little while, not long. I'm hoping that this will at least distract him for a little bit. Because it's under the... Under the fountain. Just in case he does find them, I don't think he will. Because like I said, I think right now... He's not gonna come near the village. Because he's, he's gonna know I'm angry. He's gonna know. He's, he's not gonna... He doesn't wanna die either. And some of you guys were saying he took it too far. And he took it... Killing Robin was something that broke all of our hearts. Every single one of us. But he took it too far the day he kidnapped Maddie. That's the day he took it too far. I understand if he was mad because he felt like he was being cheated on or whatever. I Okay, fine. Be mad. But he lost his child because of this. He's never going to get Maddie back. Everything. Everything is gone. All because of what? Because of, of a stupid mistake that he made. And it wasn't even stupid. He knew what he was doing. So let me go ahead and have the beds down here. Can you... Can Jessica, go a little... Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Okay, let's make the chest. And then we're good. We're going to leave, leave some lights on as well. So it's not too dark down here. And then we should be good. Let's go ahead and put that there. You guys can have half of my food. And then let's put some of these lights around. Turn that up. And that one. And then this one. There we go. Okay, I need to go back up. So they're all here. They have the guards. All in one place. They should be good. Let's take all of this down. We might go get a bucket of water and fill this up with water again. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's put that there. Do I still have my my fence? I don't have one. Shoot. Let me go get the fence and then hopefully we have a bucket of water or something. Where is it? Okay, I have one here, and we have some buckets here. Perfect. By the way, because I know some of you guys are going to get confused. When I said he's not going to get Maddie back, I meant like he was never going to go get her back from that place he locked her up. Because how was he going to bring her back? He wouldn't have brought her back. He was he was basically killing her. That's what he was doing. Without Ashley killing her, he was setting up her up over there, and she was going to die. Because how was he going to bring her back to the village? He wasn't. It wasn't. So he ruined. He ruined Zack and Maddie's relationship. He took a... Kendra wouldn't be dead today if it wasn't for him. She wouldn't because she would have never been down there. She would have never had to go... All these kids would have grown up with their parents and had normal lives if it wasn't for him. Robin. Robin would have had a normal life. All she would have worried about is having like her own kids someday. With Braxton Jr., maybe she would have wanted to adopt as well because she was adopted. She would have wanted to help a kid out or something. But she didn't get that. None of them did. None of them did. You don't... Like, no one knows what life could have been for every single person in this village if it wasn't for Jake. Because that's what he did. He ruined it. And I think that's the saddest part. He took away so many people's lives. For what? Because he was jealous? That doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, so we have this here. Like that. We put the water there. It should have been one lower. But I'm going to leave it because I don't want it to go... Maybe I should move this. No, I'm going to leave it like that. I'll leave it like that and we should be good. Now, it's night time. Let me see if I could go to sleep. And then I'll go ahead and I'll join everyone to look for Jake. A few of you guys think you might know where he is. And I'm wondering if he would have gone back to the house. Where Zack and um, Rosa were. I might try there. And see if they are there. 
I wonder if if I find anything there that shows that he's been living there, then maybe I should just wait for him until he shows up. Okay, let's go look. Okay. So we have the guards there. We have the guards patrolling the village out there, outside. So I know the village itself is it's not completely safe right now. But it's as safe as it's going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and go look for Jake at that house and see if he is there. And while I'm doing that, um, I want to talk about something that doesn't really have anything to do per se with Minecraft Comes Life. But it's just like a side note. Uh, you guys know I have my side note moment. So this is a side note moment. Um, so that's basically it for this episode. Um, and... I wanted to go ahead and mostly make this episode just to show you guys where it's going to go and to lead up to the season finale, which is coming soon. Um, but also just to take a moment to talk to you guys about the series and the future series of Minecraft Comes Alive. Minecraft Comes Alive is something that I enjoy doing so much. I, I love Minecraft Comes Alive. I think it's so much fun. It's exciting for me to do. But one of the things that I've noticed with every season and every episode of Minecraft Comes Alive, people um become more opinionated in a negative way there's nothing wrong with having opinion it's wrong when your people make criticism for no reason um i think one of the best parts of minecraft comes alive is that it tells a story it tells a story that i've basically written it's it's my story that's what it is it's like if i wrote a book it would be Minecraft comes alive with silets or with silets play whatever it's it's something that i created and imagine you work really hard on a school essay or a school project and then you feel like it's good. You feel like it's the best thing you've done, like the best work you've done. And then someone tells you it's bad and they don't like it. But then imagine it being more than one person. Imagine it's just so many people just criticizing it for no reason because they don't like they just don't like what you did because of that. Not because they don't not because they feel like you didn't write the story well. Or not because they felt like you could have done something different. Just simply because they don't like it. That starts kind of taking a toll on you. It makes you start not enjoying it as much. Because you feel like you don't have the freedom to to do what you want anymore. And it's something that I think a lot of writers have. Like a lot of authors and stuff. Where they write a first book. And the first book does so good. And then everyone starts hating what they're doing. Because it's not being told the way they want it to. It starts taking away from that creativity. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was when Robin died, it was actually sad for me to see her die. It was. It was really sad. Afterwards, I went a little bit weird because it was like, you know, you get attached to the characters. And I feel like when you get attached to characters, that's good. That's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to watch MCA and love every single person that you see. Because if you do, that means I've done my job. I made you fall in love with, with a fake character. Because that's what they are. This is this All of this is a fake world. So, for instance, they could take, let's take it back to Robin. Robin was adopted. That's her story. We took her in. She started growing up like a normal child. And then somehow the mess of all of this village started impacting her because now she's th dead. That was where I wanted to take the story. And when she died, I wanted it to, to, I wanted you guys to feel something. Because I didn't want this series to just be all happiness and fairy tales. I don't think that makes a good story in my opinion. Sometimes in life, you're going to go through stuff that's hard, but you keep on going. And that's what I was, that was my main message. Robin died. That's basically, my child died in Minecraft. That's what it was. That's supposed to be something that's devastating, but I can't let it tear me apart. I need to get my stuff together and still save all of these people. That was the message. And when I do the next series, um, I just want you guys to be more open-minded. It's okay for you guys to be sad. It's okay for you guys to be upset if someone dies or if something that you didn't want to happen happens. But don't show it in an angry way. That's not a good thing to be. It's always good to just give constructive criticism. If you guys feel like, oh, Zai, there's too much drama in this series, tone it down a little bit because I kind of enjoy you interacting with each villagers. Someone actually left that comment and I was thankful for that comment because they said it in a way where, all right, I see their point. I'm gonna try to work on that because maybe there is too much drama. And then that that's good criticism, not just 
oh, I hate it because you killed Robin and now I hate you too. I'm going to unsubscribe. That doesn't do any good. So the season is going to end soon. Minecraft Comes Alive Season 3 is going to start up again. And there's going to be a few changes to it. I think they're all changes that you guys are going to really like. Um, I think it's going to take Minecraft Comes Alive to like another level. And I want you guys like I said, to have an open mind, to remember sometimes things are going to happen that you don't like. It's like any TV show. Like the example I was giving was Grey's Anatomy. A character in Grey's Anatomy died that I loved. He's been on the show for 10 years since the show started. And then he died. And I didn't like the way they killed him off. But I didn't sit there and hate the person that wrote the show. It was emotional. It was sad. But I moved on from it because it was supposed to be sad. That's how it was supposed to be. So I'm sorry if this episode was short. I'm sorry if it was a little bit ranty. I just felt like I had to get that off my chest because I feel like sometimes you guys don't mean for things to come off in a rude way, but they do and they start getting to the, the person that's making these videos. And it's not just Minecraft Comes Alive, it's any video. If someone is putting up a video out there for you guys, they're working hard to put it out there. They're doing it because they enjoy it, because they want you to enjoy it. So if you have a criticism, just be constructive about it. And that's really all there is to it. So again, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm sorry if anyone took it personally that Robin died. But like I said, that's the point. The bigger message is, when something bad happens, sometimes it'll feel like your life is over, but you still got to hold it together and get through the rest of the day and the rest of your life. So again, I hope you guys had fun watching. Please like, favorite, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Bye!